Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of A Week in Geekdom, and today we are going to unbox the Naruto Shippuden Jiraiya Figure Arts Zero Kizuna Relation Statue. Let's do this. Welcome back everybody to the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of We Can Geek Them. My name is Giovanni Menendez and yeah, today we are going to unbox this beauty. It was supposed to arrive uh, somewhere in November 2019, but you know, things when you get things from Japan, they take a while to arrive, right? So here is this really cool looking box. I really enjoy the design of this. It's very sketchy looking, which uh, you can see right there the wraparound it's a little bit glary but i do have some pictures that i'm showing you and over at the back you get some really cool pictures of the uh some stock images i guess of the statue uh, i think this is and I, I even brought my measuring tape i think this is somewhere along the uh eight inch mark of how tall it is so yeah let's go ahead and open this thing I've always been a Naruto fan, and I've always wanted the perfect representation of my favorite characters. And for some reason, there are so many statues out there for Naruto, from the first uh, series, and now with Chipuden and even Boruto and all that stuff, but I could never f quite get the one I was after. Do you know what I mean? Especially with the face sculpt and stuff. I wanted it to be as close as possible to the original source material of Kishimoto's drawings, or at least similar to the anime. So to me, these uh, Figure Art Zero, they really do a good job of capturing that with the sculpts and the paints and all that stuff. I thought they did a really good job on it. The plastic smell is terrible. Oh, that can't be good for my lungs. looking pretty awesome and I'm gonna do a quick reveal soon because there's no assembly required with this statue it's just one piece and the thing about the Kizuna thing the relation or whatever they're calling it is that you can pair it up with the base because it forms sort of like this circular like a yin yang type of thing where it connects with another statue so it, you can display it by itself but it's going to look uh, so much cooler with another character, in this case, of the Naruto franchise. There's one with uh, Naruto, uh, part one, and there's another uh, statue of Lady Tsunade. And I got the Tsunade statue, but it hasn't arrived yet as of this video, so I will do an unboxing and later on pairing the two of them together, because I think they look fantastic. Maybe down the line I might get Naruto, not in a rush, I just wanted uh, I just wanted to get the Sanin because I love those three characters. So hopefully we do get a really cool Orochimaru later on. Because, yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I love the Sanin. They're my favorite characters of the Naruto franchise. And I really wanted a figure or a statue or something that can represent them uh, the way I wanted to. Look at this. Oh my goodness. The sculpt is fantastic. The, the posing... The, the oh wow this this is a work of art i i'm blown away with this damn even the smoke effect and everything just looks so impressive and so detailed like it doesn't do it justice the video doesn't do it justice it really does look amazing and i know it's going to look even cooler next to uh lady sunata next to next to uh our pervy sage base is a little hollow plasticky but Oh, and I love Gamakichi's sculpt and how he's so translucent. It really gives it a very unique feel. It combines with the summoning effect and it sort of makes him look like he just popped up like in the manga and anime. This looks really badass, guys. I, I'm in love with this. <laughs> Let's get a closer look.
guys, the amount of detail on this thing is honestly uh, breathtaking. I, I am in awe and, and just marveled at the craftsmanship involved with the making of this statue. I can't wait to see it paired with uh, Tsunade and maybe in the future even Naruto himself giving better a Sengon. It just looks so impressive and just very fluid dynamic. It's something that you know it leaps off the shelf and looks like uh, it came out of the manga or the anime. And I think I said at the beginning of the video that it's uh, she put in, but that was a mistake. Obviously, it's uh, from part one. Uh, just really cool. It has some weight to it, but it's not super heavy. And the details, like I mentioned, everything about it is it's just there. The paint applications, the sculpt, even the little bead things that I showed off right now in the close-ups. Uh, it, it just looks real. It looks great in my opinion this is an excellent piece if you're a naruto fan uh the kizuna relation uh class of statues are a must get the spiky hair just flows naturally and it's not too pointy the the costume design of course it's so vivid you remember jiraiya because of his outfit the scroll in the back um the i think yeah, the rope is plastic, hard plastic, I think, yeah. But everything is just on point. I don't see any scuffs or paint splashing or none of that. Like, really tight, quality controlled, uh, no QC issues, just on point, man. This was well worth it. If you're a fan of the franchise, if you love Jiraiya, if you love Naruto as a whole, and you want to get a really cool collectible statue, uh, it is, um, I think still available at most websites that sell these type of statues you can still get it and it's relatively uh cheap for what you're getting great price great sculpt great paint apps fantastic representation of the character i love the swooshing effects the hair the little bead gamakichi right there very translucent the smoke effect looks really cool as well just a great piece i I love this so much and the face sculpt i didn't talk about it earlier but the face sculpt is on point the tongue the teeth and the makeup around the eyes the headband with the horns everything about it just is 100 percent accurate to what the character is and for that alone it's it's a it's a hell of a statue man i love this so much uh, i uh, <laughs> this is really cool I'm, I'm a little speechless at how faithful it is to the character that's awesome wow yeah no I, i'm 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 geeking out hard over this right here you even get the uh symbol in the palm of his hand i forgot uh, the name of the symbol forgive me on that one but just really cool the sandals came out great you see the wrinkles with uh the undershirt and the robe here just oh, man this is badass i, I love this <laughs> As you can see, here's the thing I talked about, and you put the other one, and it forms sort of like a yin-yang circle thing. Uh, or you place Naruto here, and then Tsunade uh, at the corner, and you have the three combo. Uh, hopefully, we do get Orochimaru at some point, because with his uh, grass cutter sword and, and uh, the serpent summon, I, I forgot the name right now. This is freaking badass. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in for this uh, unboxing of the Figure Art Zero Kizuna Relation Jiraiya Naruto statue. The, the names are a mouthful. I'm, I'm not too fond of the names. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing to We Can Geek Them. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos pop up. Follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. We can keep the conversation going. Thank you so very much. I've got to go. I've got more stuff to read, write, review, play. It's a madhouse. I will catch all of you on our next installment.